Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this Sketch Nooped Master Series video I'm gonna talk to you a bit more about symbols and specifically how to nest symbols and why you should do that because that's just like a, almost like a live hack when it comes to working with Sketch it's amazing what it does and it improves your workflow exponentially especially if you need to replicate different bits or work with the same elements over and over again let's say like buttons for example or cards it's just a no-brainer so let me exactly explain what it is and how you can work with it if you don't know anything about symbols this is a might be a bit too advanced go back one video and it in like two minutes you're gonna learn exactly what symbols are like so but here we're gonna kind of like a follow up and build on top of what you know already. And so I have this running bit, as you can see, I have text, I have an icon and I have a button, let's say, and let's say that this is a button. I'm gonna make a carbon copy of it. Uh, I would definitely convert an icon to a symbol, but here's where the interesting bit is gonna be. Because, you know, you, you could use, let's say, a naming convention, which would be, let's say, icon. If you want to nest it, you would use slash. And let's say, you would say running. And then maybe, let's say, active. So let's say, if it's inactive, maybe it's faded. But you, you're gonna create like a nested uh, nodes of a thing and create hierarchy. So we're saying that icon is a family, child is running, and active is a subdivision of that or a version of that right and just simply showing how it's gonna work i'm just gonna hit okay and then it's gonna create that simple icon just like it did before let me find it actually in our symbols here but as you can see it it's nothing different than what it was before however if i would duplicate that in our symbols and create a copy and i would just rename this into let's say running let's say inactive or let's say blocked or something like that and I could just reduce the opacity of the icon like to this to, let's say 40 percent now you have gonna have two versions and they're both available for me to use in the design so let's say I could just go ahead and just select blocked as you can see I have icon running blocked boom and that's it, I just swap it like that. And let's say in any mockup I would have, if I need to make it blocked, I just swap it in a drop down, and it's simple as this. And now if we go even deeper to that, into our symbols, and as I have predefined template, all I have to do is just make copies of the same thing and maybe make it for different sports. So let's say this is no longer running. Maybe this is gonna be icon. Uh, swimming and the same is for that and all I have to do is just change you know color of a thing as long as you keep the naming convention right they're gonna be connected and nested by sketch together automatically and boom now if I go back to my design if I let's say want to make a button for swimming I can just literally go to icon and now you see there's subsection swimming make it active and boom, it changed. I, you know, it doesn't have to be that it has a background. We can actually remove a background too, if you know, it's not really needed. It's just something to keep in mind that it's, you might not see your white icons. So I, what I would do, I would just select those symbols and add background color to it. Let's say gray, but don't include it in export so that it doesn't add that nasty background. And then if I go back, I can easily swap the icons. You see icon is now this, running, blocked, swimming, blocked. And it's simple as that. It's really as simple as, as this. Now, next thing what you might want to do is actually make maybe a symbol of a button too. It's real up to you. You know, as long as you have that icon uh, symbol, it's gonna connect everything together. So I'm just gonna quickly create a symbol. And in this case, it's gonna be button running, let's say. So it's a separate symbol. But as you can see in here, if I go back to symbols, I'm gonna have now buttons like this, like running, let's say. And what I can do is actually, I can create a symbol for the background as well. And I can symbolize anything I want because everything becomes an object, you know? So I can, let's say, say create a symbol and this is a background so let's say it's maybe it's gonna be something like button 
uh, or actually just background orange like this. And now for backgrounds, I can just create multiple versions of it and make an easy swap of a background. So let's say this is orange. I can create a fill of, let's say, you know, this hardcore teal, or let's say I'm gonna make it maybe greenish, or maybe faded orange, so it's inactive. You know, it's it's really up to you to kind of decide what shade you want to go with. I'm just gonna go with these three shades, you know, just up, up on top of my head. And now, since that symbol is created with those backgrounds, all I need to do is just rename it. By the way, let's say teal, and that is green. So I guess you keep the conventions in place. Now I can maybe, you know, make a copy of this, drag it, and one, I can override it and choose, let's say a swimming icon, or, or actually running icon in this case, because it was swimming already. But I also can change the background. So let's say to green, and maybe say that this is running. That's rightfully so, but that one, the orange is gonna be swimming. And boom, I have two different buttons. And now I can maybe make another version even, just copy. Sketch is so smart, it just nests everything and allows you to easily switch. So let's say teal, maybe this is gonna be a triathlon. And maybe then I need just to make a new icon for it. And let me just do so really quickly. Boom, and now in my canvas, all I need to do is just go into icon, let's say and select triathlon, boom, and that's it. And that's how you design it. So then you can roll out more and more changes and keep everything in one place. So you use those templates of the symbols and it works really great, but then you can also have the nesting and that's like, it's amazing, truly amazing. Because if I'm gonna start out on a new page on something like, oh, insert symbol document, and you can see, I can add a background only, I can add existing badges, I can add a button altogether, I can add an icon itself. It's up to me how I wanna do it because it, it's all nested. You can go as many levels as one, so let's say maybe this icon running active could have another one which is color, so active black, active white, so you can use it on different buttons or different uh, backgrounds. So you can branch it as much as want and all of this is just a slash. And it's up to you how you want to structure it. But I usually structure it, you know, j just uh, defining a simple template and then defining the properties for each. So color icons, yada, yada. It all depends on the use case. So I hope this video is useful. As per usual, smash that subscription button. If you haven't done so, give a like, leave a comment down below and stay tuned for more material.